This next lesson is a lot of fun. It's gonna combine a lot of different elements. It's gonna combine movement and tracking skills and throwing skills. It can get kind of challenging to be honest. This is gonna be like the next level for the students. So be very patient. When you do this though, the benefits are extraordinary. It starts them to get used to the ball and they're gonna to start to transition into rallying as well as working with a partner. So it's gonna be a lot of fun. It's very challenging, but just keep in mind, take baby steps and they're gonna get it eventually if you're patient enough. So let's go on court and see how it's done. Okay, Kyle, so we're gonna go from doubles line to doubles line. We're gonna pass it on the ground, back and forth while we shuffle, okay? Go. So this is just like the previous drill. We're gonna be shuffling from doubles line to doubles line, except we're gonna to toss it underhand while we shuffle. Go. Hands up. Oh. Some things to keep in mind for this drill, I can't emphasize enough, be patient. This is a very difficult drill, especially for a student that's just about to learn tennis. A couple tips to keep in mind though, when you do it, remind them to toss to their partner where they're going to be, not where they are. Just like in basketball, you wanna to pass to where they're going to stand. Another thing to keep in mind is try to get back and forth without dropping it. If they drop it five times the first time, the next time, encourage them, can you do it without dropping it? Uh, maybe only four times. And then the next time, can they do it dropping it only three times? So that's the way you measure improvement on this one. It's a lot of fun, but you just have to wait it out and they're gonna get these skills in time. Now, for the next lesson, we're gonna work on a lot of agility as well as hand-eye coordination and throwing. So let's go see that one. <laughs> 